here you can see my old battle leveling knobs. They are very small and fiddly and therefore I decided to create some new bigger knobs. And uh, the new knobs also have a minute scale with uh, larger divisions every five minutes, which uh, helps me when I do the G34Z axis alignment with my dual Z axis setup. Here's a short time lapse of putting the brass nuts into the printed knobs. Fusion 360 I show you how I create a custom knob for my bed leveling and to do so I create a sketch in the X and Y plane, zoom a little bit in. Now I will create some construction elements. First is a circle giving me a rough outer diameter for my knob. Uh, I'm choosing here 42 millimeter which is quite a nice size to handle the knob and I also need to create a hole where the shaft of my brass uh, knob, the original knob, uh, fits in. The outer diameter of that is 6 millimeters. And finally I want the knob to have a nice curvy shape and therefore I need some other helper lines. I'm putting one here with an angle of 95 degrees and I'm putting another one there to have an angle of 45 degrees. Then I can construct an arc between these two points and giving it a slight O. And I want um, another arc with a larger size going inward, therefore I will um, rotate this line by 45 degrees to the right. Uh, to do so I use a circular pattern around the center and I don't want full, I want an angle and here I enter minus 45. That's nice. Now we don't need this line, delete it, and now we can create another arc between these two points and having it slightly bow inwards. Then I will create a circular pattern so that the whole circle is a closed shape and um, this is achieved if we make eight copies in the full circle. That's the shape of the button and I want it to be six millimeters so extruded by six millimeters now we have the rough shape of our button and i want uh, the button to have a scale on top uh, with a division in five minute steps and these divided with a division of one minute steps Therefore, I'm creating a sketch on top and I want the 
center of the five minute divisions to be 31 millimeter and I want the center for the minute divisions to be at 30 millimeters. Let's say 29. Okay. Then I go out of construction mode. Create center rectangles around the points I just did. I want the minute scales to be one millimeter wide and five millimeter, millimeter high. Then we It. And to get our divisions for the five minute scale, we need twelve copies of that. Select each of them. Just by double clicking on the line and select each of these. Let's extrude it by Selected again. Select. Okay, let's select the inside of all those rectangles. Be extruded. <coughs> I want to have them 0 0.6 millimeters deep so they get cut into the wheel. And I want also to have my minutes and therefore I create Another rectangle on the second helper circle. Uh, the minutes shall only be 0 0.6 millimeters wide and 3 millimeters high. I will change that over and then change the diameter of this circle to 30 millimeters. Yeah, that looks nicer. Then I want to have circular pattern of this around the center and we want 60 minutes and again select each of these probably an easier way to select all of these but I'm not um, a professional
professional using Fusion 360. I just find my way through it. But you know what's the happening next when I selected all of these. It's just another I shouldn't select the five minute things here because we already have them. selected all the minutes we need and extrude those by 0 0.6 as well which gives us a cut and we disable the sketch <coughs> then we can see we have our scale inside next thing I want is uh, to make the button a bit more round. Therefore selecting the outline of the front and back. selected and now we can modify and put a fillet of two millimeters to the button that's nice and wrong um, finally I need to put an inset on the back of the nut of the button so that uh, my brass nut can go into it um, therefore I want a circle with a diameter of the outer nut which is roughly 10 millimeter and let's prove this
six millimeter. Let's load this by one millimeter just to give the knob distance from the carriage. And finally, a small chamfer which helps to center the nut. Let's make it 0 0.4. That's it. Now we can select the body and export it as STL. And finally, we can select the body and right click on it, choose Save as STL. Then save it as, for example, knob.stl. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel, which will help uh, producing more videos in the future. Write down your comments below. And uh, if you have ideas for upcoming videos, I would like to know that as well. Thank you very much and have a nice day.